We are now going to shift from the client side the PySQC add-in for process book towards the server side with the real-time SQC engine on the Py server. The real-time SQC engine on the Py server does actually all the calculation performed by the SQC add-in on the client tool. It works in conjunction with the alarm subsystem and any calculation will end up being an alarm tag a specific SQC alarm tag with a status that matches the SQC alarm status. The advantages of using the real-time SQC engine on the server over the PySQC client within process book is that the calculation will be performed in real time all the time. Calculation in process book are just performed interactively when you're opening process book but they are stopped when you're closing the application. This way, using the real-time SQC engine, you can have one central configuration for your alarm, you can historize those alarms, and you can share them amongst multiple users. The interaction between the real-time SQC alarm and the PySQC add-in with ProcessBook is really straightforward. The client will recognize all the configuration from the server and display the control shot as it was one designed by yourself but most of the setting will be kept on the server and could not be changed by the user. Another advantage of archiving and historizing those alarms on the server is that you have access to them using the regular client tool from Pi. One being Excel to build reports, retrieve a number, a given number of alarm trying to do root cause analysis. Another one which is Pi Alarm View, when you can actually acknowledge the alarm from Pi Alarm View. You can also insert operation comments, use recent code and enhance your root cause analysis using SQC trends. And we got the several tools available to actually build those tag on on the server. So another advantage is that because we're going to use control limits being stored at the Pi tag, you're going to be able to look over time and actually see the changes in your control limits because you've kept the history of these. So there is many, many advantages of working with a real-time engine on the server when you're done and pretty sure that you've set up your calculation right on the client side.